Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I am here with another weekly tip on how to create a healthy home environment that supports your health and wellness and reduces toxins wherever you can. This week I am going to be talking about bathroom remodels. Um, now, you may not be ready for a bathroom remodel in your home, but I still would say you could plan ahead and you can get some ideas for whenever you do change things in your bathroom here and there. I've got ideas for kind of everything, even down to um, I have some picks for organic towels, cur uh, shower curtains that don't have any plastic in them. Um, so it's, it's the big things and the little things today, but mostly the big things. So if you're looking to do a bathroom remodel, I have some great ideas for you that um, will bring new materials in that are low in toxins and healthier for your space. So we're going to talk about everything from your bathtub to your faucet fixture. Um, we're talking about lighting, all kinds of things that have toxins in them that will off gas in your space. Um, bathrooms are a space that we really want to pay attention to. Granted, we don't spend a ton of time in there, but this is a warm and humid environment and a lot of toxins will actually off gas at a much higher rate in that type of environment. So when we're in there, we're being exposed to more toxins and more chemicals than perhaps in a drier space in our home. So this is why we really want to pay attention to this. Not to mention the um, process of bringing in new materials can also just introduce toxins to your home in general um, because our home works as a system all together. So let's go through these slides. Um, what it is is it's this week's blog post kind of broken down into like a video format for you. So if you're someone who likes to look at links, wants to read it, I would encourage you to head to this week's blog post. I have it listed at the bottom of the description in the video and you'll have everything right there for you. But if you're more of a visual person, let's get started. All right, you guys, so let's take a look at low toxin bathroom remodel ideas. Um, I'm super excited about this. I think this is something that is going to be really helpful to hold on to for the future. So um, first, we're going to talk about toxins that are in bathrooms in the first place and why the bathroom space holds so many toxins. I'm also going to share with you some ideas for sinks, lighting, um, some finishing touches. So let's get started on why the bathroom holds so many toxins. Um, often I will advise that families kind of start addressing toxins and spaces that they come in contact with the most frequently. So when you're starting out, um, on a healthy house journey, there can be a lot of toxins and areas to address, and it can seem kind of overwhelming. Um, the bathroom usually isn't the first place that we address, but it's certainly um, where there are components and parts that we can change right away. Um, that will really help. And because the bathroom area is usually really humid and warm from our use, um, and whatnot, the climate in the room can be different than other areas of the home. So we're going to talk about higher humidity levels. Um, so the warm and humid um, environment is actually kind of um, conducive for mold, mildew. It also creates an environment where VOCs will off gas at a higher rate. And VOCs that are found in building materials, um, personal care products, tub surrounds, and shower curtains are the ones that we're going to talk about today. Um, so some VOCs aren't really able to be detected easily. We often have no idea that um, they're off gassing because we cannot see them, we cannot smell them. Um, and so because of this, it's really important to take preventative action to reduce VOCs um, and off gassing as much as possible. So um, just these are some of the little tidbits that we're going to talk about um, more. But first and foremost, higher humidity and temperature, like a higher temperature in the bathroom means that VOCs off gas a lot more. It also means that there's more mold. Second is more plastic in a small space. Uh, more plastic is going to just mean more toxins in that space. Um, our personal care products, like I kind of mentioned, they off gas themselves. Um, and a lot of times they have VOCs that are preservatives um, inside of them if you're not buying like a really green product. And then finally is a lot of the plumbing fixtures that we still use contain lead um, in the fittings, in the joints, within the faucets themselves. And so that's something we're going to take a look at 
more um, as we go on. So those are the toxins that are in the bathroom. So let's talk about walls and flooring. Um, when you break down each element you want to be adding or taking out of your bathroom, it can make it a little bit easier to come up with a space um, that is healthy, some ideas that are healthy. So these areas of your bathroom are going to give you some options um, in ways that you can avoid toxins as well as some options to do like toxin-free picks um, for products and low toxin materials that you can use. So whatever flooring you choose for your bathroom, you'll want something that can withstand moisture and water. You'll want something that has some sort of like seal on it to prevent any water from penetrating the surface or migrating to the subflooring. Your subflooring is what is directly below your um, main floor that you're walking on. So we want to avoid vinyl, linoleum, um, linoleum unless it's 100% natural. These two options um, contain VOCs and plastic toxins that can make it a poor choice. Uh, the toxins in these floors have been linked to developmental delays in kids, hormone disruption, and burdening the kidney and liver. I have um, listed here some really great healthy options. There are links to all of these in this week's blog post. So just head to the link um, in my description if you'd like to get links uh, for these specific products. Some of them, um, I'll kind of go through them here. Some of them are available even at like Home Depot. Um, some of the best flooring options that I have listed here are going to be like ceramic tile, porcelain tile, stone tile, marble. Um, they have the least amount of lead or VOCs in them. You can also verify that the glaze on these doesn't contain VOCs. Um, this list that I have here for ceramic tiles are Green Guard certified winners. So um, style surfaces, Marazzi, which is at Home Depot, doll tile, which um, I have done, I have had connections with, love them, um, and Crossville, which is green squared certified. Um, you can also look at uh, Fire Clay. This is another one of my favorite green and healthy products. Um, Fire Clay is a certified B corporation. It reuses granite dust, porcelain, glass um, to make the body of the tile. And then the glaze is a natural clear glaze that's free from lead. So their tiles are perfect for like wet areas um, in the shower and tub. And then if we go down the list a little bit more, you can do like concrete tiles and seal it with AFM sealer, which I have a link to that in this week's blog post. Um, it's a healthy alternative if you're on the hunt for bathroom remodel ideas um, and you're looking for something a little less expensive. Concrete is a porous surface, so it needs to be sealed. Um, but if you use like an AFM sealer, uh, it keeps out any VOCs. And then one thing that you'll want to keep in mind is while you're doing this renovation and during the installation, make sure tiles are cut outside um, so that that you're preventing any potential lead dust or um, toxic dust from getting inside your living space or your HVAC system. Um, if you're removing current tile, you'll want to take extra precautions. Make sure that the dust from the demolition is properly contained. Um, and then let's talk about walls. So um, this would be like if we're looking at like... Um, you can do, you know, tile if you're looking for a, a surface that is going to be a wet surface. Um, I would do a quick set grout. You can do solid slabs of cultured stone. Uh, again, you'll want to make sure that they are mechanically polished, not chemical polishes on them. Um, that means that they're polished with a machine, not with a product. Um, you can also do like faux paneling made of solid wood. That can get a little iffy in the bathroom or just do a toxin-free paint. I think that's a great thing that you can um, do in your bathroom. We want to avoid any pressed woods. Um, that would be medium density fiberboard, MDF, um, plywood, particle board. You want to avoid paint with VOCs. These are all going to off-gas VOCs into your space. Again, it's a warm, humid space, so something to think about. Um, this is a fun one. Let's talk about tubs and showers. I have so many links for you in this week's blog post. So um, first and foremost, you can do enameled steel, cultured stone, Corian, cast iron with lead, free glaze um, and I have links to specific um, brands that you can get in this week's blog post. Um, bathroom ideas can range from doing like one 
a one piece surround that's very tasteful or you can do like an intricate tile design uh, we want to avoid fiberglass surrounds and acrylic surrounds they're the least healthy options and they both contain um, toxins acrylic resin contains more toxins um, that are harmful to the human health so these things that I've listed that are better options um, are going to be just that much better for you. So if we're looking at Green Guard certified, this is kind of one of those things that I like to go back to. Kohler has a great option. Um, it's mate The material is Green Guard certified. It's not only beautiful, it's very customizable. Um, a lot of contractors will work with this because it is Kohler. So it's a great option if you're having someone come in and do your project for you. Um, the stone resin is... <clears throat> excuse me, uh, composite walls that can be adhered with like a low VOC product and their joint system means that you'll have less maintenance in the future. So it's a great option. As you can see, it's gorgeous. Another one is Swanstone. Um, it's also Green Guard certified. It's a great option for not only a shower or tub surround, but also for sinks and vanities. Swanstone is one of those um, products that a lot of contractors work with as well. It's made of renewable materials. It's a non-porous surface. Um, because the surface is solid and made with recycled polymers, it emits very few VOCs and doesn't have problems with mold or mildew. Um, and then another option is this Sterling um, Vicryl, and it's a Kohler, Kohler brand. Um, they do tub surrounds. It's a great option. The nice thing about this brand is that they often have um, items in a showroom that you can go look at. So let's see here. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Okay. And then the last one is um, called away. And this is enameled steel that I kind of talked about in the beginning. Um, this is third party cert certified um, by an environmental production declarations for eco-friendly and climate neutral building components. So that's another great option. And then finally is Corian. Um, this is a great option for like a shower base. Um, it's Green Guard certified. Um, it's resistant to mold and bacteria. It's naturally resistant to chipping and scratching. It has a really long lifespan and it's also like a non-slip surface. So I really like them for an option as well. Um, so let's take a look at some vanities and countertops. So I am sharing in this week's post some um, links that you can go to, um, some healthy options for countertops are concrete. Um, oops, we also want to look at, um, you can do marble, um, limestone, quartzite, quartz, ice stone is a great one. Um, I have a link to their site. Um, and then some of the things we want to avoid are laminate countertops because those have VOCs, um, and chemically sealed countertops, which also would contain like harsh chemicals. Both of these options do contain VOCs, especially, um, formaldehyde in both the adhesives and the clear glaze on the top of a chemically sealed countertop. Um, so any solid surface countertop should be made um, of something that is a natural product. Um, if you do use like an acrylic resin, you might, you kind of want to pay attention. A lot of those can have formaldehyde um, and benzoic acid that we want to avoid. The surface that's under the countertops, a lot of times is plywood, particle board, um, medium density fiberboard, and we want to avoid that because it does have um, VOCs and formaldehyde in it. So some good options for you guys um, if we are looking for some green guard vanities. I have listed for you some that you can actually buy online if you want to kind of DIY yourself. Some of these you can go to like a showroom. Um, this one I have linked for you guys. It's a green guard certified bathroom vanity. It's like in a brushed nickel. Um, and I believe that one is from... Let me check here. I believe that one's from Wayfair. Um, I also liked this one. Um, it's a barn door style bathroom vanity, Green Guard certified. Again, it's on Wayfair that you can order. Pottery Barn has some really great options that are Green Guard certified as well. And then this solid wood um, option was one of my favorites that we found um, online. So let's take a look at 
oops, we're going to do some sinks. So um, obviously sinks are something that we're going to be changing out when we do a bathroom remodel. And um, you can make healthier options when it comes to sinks. Um, I would say there's probably not too many toxins in most sinks, but we'll just... Um, take a look at some of the healthier ones. So Zune is one that I have linked this week. It's Green Guard certified. Another one is Corian. We already talked about that a little bit and it's a solid surface. A lot of times you can just have one piece. Swanstone again that we have listed because um, they also did some before. It's a Kohler company and then Livingstone. So let's take a look at this Zune um, company. These are some great options. Lots of um, these are inset, so you can put this with whatever type of countertop you want. Um, Corian usually is one piece, so you can either do just the sink or you could even do like um, a one piece counter into a sink, which is a great option. Same with Swanstone, you can do both. Um, you can do like an inset sink or you could do like a vessel sink. Um, and that is a Kohler company. And then Livingstone, they do solid surface sink sinks and stainless steel. These are both really good options that are um, non-porous, so there's no germs or odors that can really penetrate it, and it's naturally chip and dent resistant. So let's take a look at some lead-free plumbing fixtures. This is something that's really important. Um, a lot of fixtures that are used have lead within the fixture itself. Sometimes plumbers use um, fittings that have lead. So we want to be really careful. Um, some really good options that are certified that they have no lead in them. Um, Parmier, Kraus, which is um, a German company, and then American Standard is another great one. So Parmier you can buy online. Um, they meet uh, many standards for green living um, that I support. Kraus is another really great one. A lot of plumbers use this brand. Um, they're 100% lead free and same with American Standard, which you can um, usually even find online um, in hardware stores. So that's a great option. And finally, let's take a look at some finishing touches. So um, in this week's blog post, I have listed for you just some extra things because I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, these are kind of the fun things that we add to the bathroom. I've got some great options for toxin-free shower curtains, some um, organic towels, and some organic uh, bath rugs. And then also looking at just the products that we use in the bathroom, let's keep glass containers, um, some sustainable toothbrushes, things like that. So if you're looking for um, links to these, you can definitely go to this week's blog post and take a look at it. Um, in this week's blog post, we also have a little section about some lighting and some fans um, that just kind of are things to keep in mind. Thank you so much for sticking around and listening to what I had to share about healthy bathrooms and healthy bathroom remodels. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and I hope that you were able to find something at least somewhat helpful that you could take and apply in your own home. Again, if you want links to anything that I mentioned in this week's video, you can head to my blog post. It is listed at the bottom of the video and you can just click the link. Until next week, be well.